In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a big wall decor using hangers. And it's not a snowflake, it's an angel. So if you want to learn to do it, well then follow me. What's up glue dots? I'm Elaine the Midnight Crafter, or the Midnight Elf Crafter. <laughs> So I'm obviously having fun with these silly hats and these fun things for the holidays. So this video, I have to have a huge shout out and thank you to Terry. He is one of the fabulous glue dots who made a beautiful Christmas angel using hangers. So the snowflake video has been wildly popular, or I should say the snowflake DIY, and it's going crazy. I see it everywhere. I'm seeing more crafters doing videos on it. So this time I thought I'd do something different so we can add to our snowflake hanger decor. Terry has a great Facebook group that I'm sure he would love for you all to join and it's called My Hanger Crafts so you can get on over there and check that out as well. I want to get to this video and show you how to do this amazing craft but first I would love it if you join our glued out family by hitting the subscribe button down below and the bell next to it so you know every time I upload a new video. Also leave me a thumbs up if you like my videos or you like my hat. <laughs> and leave me a comment because I love hearing from you. So let's see. Oh, down below in the description box, make sure you check there. There's a lot of extra information. A lot of times I get questions on the very stuff that you can find right down there. Also, if you'd like to enter the drawing for our monthly little giveaway for a cute, cute bling owl keychain, you'll find the link down there as well. Okay, enough of this. We need to get to this project, so let's do it. So to get started, we're gonna take our hangers. Now we're gonna be needing 10 hangers. These come in packs of seven, so you'll be needing two packages. And we're gonna start out by drilling a hole in the corners of each of our hangers. So over here at this edge, we're gonna be drilling a hole here, and then one on this side, and we're gonna do that to 10 of our hangers. So my holes are all drilled. You do wanna be sure when you're doing your holes to make sure that you drill a hole large enough that your zip tie will fit through it because I had to redo mine. Either get smaller zip ties or bigger drill bit. <laughs> and the other thing is if you get the hangers, these are the ones from Dollar Tree um, that have this edge, then you'll need to drill. If you get the ones that don't have that edge, maybe you get them somewhere else, you can skip this drilling the hole part altogether. Now we're gonna be starting to form her dress. And the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna take two of your hangers facing the same way and put the corners together and make it so their little hooks are kind of in the direction of how it would be if you were forming a heart with them. And line up your holes here at the corner and put a zip tie through. Now you're not gonna tighten your zip ties because we do need to make some adjustments so that things don't end up cockeyed and funny. So just kind of get them basically in place, but don't tighten them up. And that's kind of the key, whether you're making the snowflakes or angels or whatever you're making. We're gonna do the same thing again for the other side, taking our two hangers, one with the hook facing to the right, one with the hook facing to the left. And then you're going to kind of turn the one that's facing to the left and rotate it until your corners meet up again and put your zip tie through. Now because this is going to be, it's the same as that one, but we want it to be the other side of her dress, you wanna make sure that you put your zip tie in from the same direction from the bottom up so that you can cut off all of the excess pieces at the end and have a front side and a back side. So we have two of our pieces. Now these are gonna be pretty big angels, guys, so <laughs> be prepared. So now we have the bottom here and we're gonna be attaching that as well. So put those two holes overlapping, put your zip tie in from the bottom up through both pieces and attach it loosely. All right, we're on our way. Next, what we're gonna do is crisscross so that we get a little bit of a, a space here where we can actually zip tie these two pieces together. And do the same on this side. 
Here's what we have so far. Now we're gonna start working on the upper part. We're going to make this shape yet again by taking our one hanger going right, one hanger going left, and then rotating this hanger around until it overlaps in the corner and attaching those. This time, the point will be going upright on this one and we'll be attaching it here where these holes meet up and do the other side as well. We also wanna secure this point here and you can do it in a couple places if you'd like. You can do it here and here or wherever you feel like it's gonna be the sturdiest for the hangers that you have. So now we have one big Seemingly confusing triangle, but it's not that bad guys. Just, I know you got this. <laughs> and hopefully my instructions are clear enough to make this understandable. So you can go ahead at this point, adjust things as you want and tighten up your zip ties. And it's pretty sturdy. I mean, you can see I can pick it up. It's not jiggling around or anything. So we are all good. We're gonna work on the wings now. So we're gonna set this aside for a moment. And what we're gonna do for the wings, you're gonna take your two hangers and you're gonna flip them so that their hooks are facing together. So if you look at it this way, it's making like a giant elongated heart. And go ahead again and attach those together. Attaching them both here at the bottom as well as our two little points together here, our hook points. These you can go ahead and tighten up because the wings are pretty much independent of each other. We're gonna do this one more time to have two of those. And try and keep these flat when you tighten them up um, so that they don't overlap each other. All right, so we have our two sets of wings now. And you can go ahead and clip off these extra little doohickeys that are sticking up and bring back your triangle dress and go ahead and cut those off. Next, we're gonna be attaching the wings up here towards the top and you can see our beautiful little angel is starting to come together. What we'll be doing next is taking the angel wings that you have that you prepared and through the back side of the same hole, you're gonna pass your zip tie. What we're going to be doing is attaching these two sets of wings together. So you're going to double up and it's going to go through the one set that already has the zip tie in it and through the other side that has the zip tie in it. So it's a little hard to get it through that hole but just do your best there. This one's a little trickier just because the other zip ties are kind of in the way but don't worry about it, just do the best you can and get them together. You won't need to make it too tight because you don't want them to overlap. Then what we're gonna do is cut off the extra piece here from your zip tie that's holding your two angel wings together. And we're gonna overlap the body onto the top part, on top of it. Now there is gonna be a bit of, uh, it's gonna stick up a bit because of the zip ties behind it, but don't worry about that. It just gives it a little more dimension. Don't panic. Then what we're gonna do is zip tie our wings onto our body here. And don't tighten those completely until you get both of them into place and you can position everything where you want it. So as I get them into place and I hold it so it's not wiggling and jiggling, I'm just tightening those up and then cut off the excess. So now we're gonna give our little headless beauty a head. <laughs> and what I've done is taken the bottom of the mesh garbage can from Dollar Tree, which I use the rest of the can for another angel project, which I will link up above in the iCard so that you can see that. It will also be at the very, very, very tail end of my video. I'll have it linked as well. So you're gonna cut off with scissors the base of the garbage can and we're gonna be using that as her head. So figure out exactly where you want the head to go. And I'm putting it just above where the zip ties are. And then I'm going to zip tie the head into place as well. So try, if you can, to put those zip ties somewhere where they're not gonna be as obvious, not up here, but closer down towards the center because we can get this covered up with some flowers. Boy, squatting down on my floor like this is quite the glute and hamstring workout. I will tell you that. It's like when you go and weed your garden and you haven't done that for a while. Oof. Butt burn. 
I've got those in place and I'm just trimming off the excess on these zip ties as well. Here's where the fun begins because now we get to start decorating this little beauty. So it's up to you entirely how you would like to decorate her. So I got this pick last year on clearance after at uh, Michael's. It was $5.99 originally, and I think I got it at 50% off. You can use any of the Dollar Tree picks or anything that you would like. I don't seem to have very good Dollar Tree picks at my store, so it would have cost me probably that much by the time I got red berries and greenery and the pine cones and all that. So. Um, I'm just going to use this. I really like the size of it, so I'm going to take that and go ahead and attach that on to her. I'm going to do a few more embellishments on her, and then you can also, which looks beautiful, you can put lights, string lights around this. You can dangle something here in the center if you'd like. You can maybe some ball ornaments, which I might do. We'll stick around and see. Um, but anyway, if you're enjoying my channel, guys, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment because I love hearing from you. Would love to have you join our Glue Dot family and see more interesting projects. And again, I want to have a huge shout out to Terry for allowing me to make a video out of this. This was his idea. He did it slightly differently. He did add one more hanger in there that I eliminated, but the basic idea was something that he came up with. So thank you, Terry, and I hope that I'm doing you proud. So I want to show you quickly what I decided to do to add some embellishment to mine. I took some of this mesh tubing that a lot of people use for wreaths and stuff. You can get this at Dollar Tree and I cut various lengths. You can see I have kind of a long, a medium, and a short. And what I'm going to be doing, so I also have these ball ornaments that I got from Dollar Tree I think last year. And all I'm going to do is add a little bit of glue around the top part of this. Doesn't take much because this mesh tubing just sticks really, really well. And then just go ahead and put it on the top and it sort of expands and it will stick right on there and hold your piece, just like that. So I'm gonna do that with all of these ornaments that I picked here and do it on both ends. Now you can use anything. You can use bells, you can use stars, snowflakes, whatever you'd like. I just thought I would do the ornaments because I thought they looked cute and they would pull in some of the red from the pick that I have put on there as well. I've been really into the traditional Christmas colors lately for some reason. Now that I have these all done and I, because I have an odd number, I have one that's just a single dangly. I'm going to take and fold them in half, not in half exactly, but fold them so that these are all hanging randomly at different lengths. And you can kind of adjust that to whatever looks good to you. So once you have them folded where you like it, you can go ahead and either glue that together or just hold it and glue them individually. I'm going to glue mine together because I don't want it to move around. And then I'm going to cut the excess part off. And then I'm just gonna take this piece here and glue it on and I'm gonna show you it all done.